welcome to Little Master News. I'm Ying Ying Luo and the topics of this month's news are Little Master Club's three-dimensional paper tulip craft, Little Master's bridging tech donations, and St. Patrick's Day. Spring of 2021 officially began in the Northern Hemisphere on March 20th. To mark this occasion and to celebrate numerous communities starting to re-emerge from quarantine, as if nearing the end of a prolonged hibernation, Little Masters Club hosted an online spring-themed arts and crafts event on March 26th. Participants constructed vibrant three-dimensional tulips, including stems and leaves, by gluing together pieces of cardstock paper onto a background. In particular, flower petals were shaped symmetrically using simple techniques of kirigami, a variation of origami that revolves around folding and cutting paper. The art of kirigami, like its more well-known variant, originated from Japan. At the end of the event, artists proudly presented their creations to the group of seven people, hosts included, and admired each other's work. On March 10th, Little Masters Club's STEM group organized an ongoing charity program called the Bridging Tech Charitable Fund in collaboration with First Lego League team Marshmallow Pandas. The program collects donations of used devices from benevolent people throughout Bellevue, Redmond, and Linwood. Devices are first fixed if necessary and purged of all personal data. Then, homeless children whose families cannot afford the equipment necessary to attend online school receive the devices to aid their learning. Bridging Tech collects mainly laptops and tablets, but accepts cell phones, keyboards, monitors, headphones, desktops, and computer mice as well. Bridging Tech has received three laptops, two tablets, and seven monitors so far. Monitors are being packaged for delivery in the first week of April. In April, Bridging Tech plans to continue to work towards an Earth Day Tech Drive. Annually on March 17th, people in over 50 countries celebrate St. Patrick's Day, a holiday originating in Ireland. Also known as the Feast of St. Patrick, this holiday honors the patron saint of Ireland on the date of his death in the 5th century CE and celebrates the arrival of Christianity to Ireland, or Irish culture in general. Celebrations include parades and festivals featuring Irish music. Traditions include wearing green on this day, because St. Patrick's followers believed the color green made them invisible to mischievous leprechauns who would pinch anyone they saw. Clovers, especially four-leafed ones, represent St. Patrick's Day because clovers grow plentifully in Ireland. Four-leaf clovers occur most abundantly in Ireland, but are still quite rare, hence why they symbolize good luck. This year, since parades could not take place due to ongoing quarantine, COVID-friendly celebrations such as St. Patrick's Day-themed crafts and baking, virtual gatherings in place of in-person parades, and still wearing green had to suffice. That's all for the Little Master News this month. Thank you for watching and see you next time.